Hi, it's Brian from Costa Coffee, and today I'm in Frederick, Maryland, which is a city of about 80,000 people, less than one hour outside of Washington, D.C., and the Baltimore area. And today I'm walking along the canal in the downtown. I'm going to show you some of the sights, and I'm meeting up with some friends here for a bit of a reunion. Let's get started. combination between both a coffee shop and as well as a bike shop. So right now I'm going to be trying the cappuccino. One cool thing about Maryland, or Frederick, Maryland I should say, is that they are known for penny farming. So I'm hoping to see some of that this weekend. So we just left Gravel and Grind, just had a cappuccino, and it tasted more like a flat white, but it was amazing. So where are we heading right now, Ronnie? Uh, Old Mother Brewery. Let's hit it. Very interesting thing about the downtown is they try to put an emphasis on local businesses here. So other than the odd corporation or shop that you'll see as a chain, you'll be getting a lot of that local product here. Is Frederick, Maryland known for some of the penny fire thing that we're trying to spot this weekend? They're also known for Francis Scott Key who wrote the Star Spangled Banner as well. One of the best walks that you can do in the Frederick, Maryland area is either walking down Market Street, which intersects with Patrick Street. Those are some of the best areas to go, and it leads you to where I am right now, which is Carroll Creek. A local pride here in Frederick, Maryland, and it is expressed through a number of different festivals that they have on an ongoing basis throughout the year. Right now, we are at Attaboy Brewing. Today, I'm trying the Wonder Hop New England IPA, and upon the first taste, as you can see here, it's got a lot of haze to it, it has a lot of citrus on the palate as well. That fits my taste. The cool thing about this Carroll Creek area that we're in is it's, it's got a lot of different breweries and distilleries on it, much like the Market Street and Patrick Street that I was talking to you about earlier. Last night we were trying Steinhard and Smokehouse. Today we're at Attaboy. After this we're going to be going to a uh, food truck in the area. Food truck is a big thing in the Frederick area and they are known for going to a number of different competitions as well. We're going to be trying one called 50-50 which they mix their, their beef and their different types of, with different types of meats which is why it's got the name 50-50. This whole Carroll Creek area is pretty remarkable. It's got a lot of different local establishments that are built up in the area. The whole downtown Frederick area, as I told you, both the Carroll Creek area, the Market Street, Patrick Street, which all intersect together, they're known for their local establishments. So they basically keep the corporations, their staple names that are all the chains outside, and you're getting to try the local Frederick product. Up in the Market Street area, we have a place called White Rabbit, which won an International Pizza Expo Award in Las Vegas this year for the best pan division. And highly recommend your time there. And I'm gonna be showing you a little bit of that later on. What I'm eating right now is the White Rabbit Detroit style pizza. This is their flagship pizza. They basically got pepperoni 
It's almost like Pizza Hut, but on steroids, if you can imagine that. So what we got here right now is basically your deep dish crust. So a lot of dough, very greasy, but in a delicious way. And then you got your cheese on top and your, you got your pepperoni, very thick style pepperoni. Lots of cheese, sauce on top, very tasty sauce, not just like your typical standard from a jar of tomato sauce, and then a little bit of green or greener on top of that. So just some advice, I mean, come here on an empty stomach because we had one drink and I'm already, I'm only in three slices, three slices, and we're taking it home because the volume at this point is just too much for our stomachs. So keep that in mind. However, uh, the fact that it is a competition winning pizza, it lives its value. So I haven't seen anybody yet, but see what I'm talking about? This is the thing here. If you are coming to Frederick, Maryland, the best way to get here is by car. However, there are ways that you can get here from either the Dulles Airport or the Baltimore Airport by either taxi or Uber for about $100 per ride. Because you're going to be going to a lot of local establishments in the downtown area on Market Street, Patrick Street, the Carroll Creek area, you might be thinking, am I going to be able to use my cards or do I need to have cash on hand? Well, you can do both for the most part. From, from what we've been noticing, you can use your credit card in most establishments. You can have cash on hand just in case, but you'll be able to you go to most places and be able to purchase their product and enjoy everything pretty much everywhere.